To the push to get education back to normal in North in uh, Texas, the TEA, the Texas Education Agency, now says if somebody tests positive for COVID, schools have to close off and clean any areas that person may have used. Student masks will be up to individual school boards. And we've also learned that Fort Worth ISD is partnering with Texas Health Resources to get its employees vaccinated. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson used the opening of the Potter's House COVID vaccine hub to announce an order. He is mandating that masks continue to be worn at all city city owned buildings, rather, despite Governor Abbott relaxing those mask standards. Mayor Johnson says it is not the time for people to let down their guard and be prepared to mask up for Ubby Dubby. In case you haven't heard of it before, it's an electronic dance music festival, electric dance music festival rather. It is still on the calendar for next month at Globe Life Field in Arlington. Organizers say they have teamed up with experts in the field to reduce COVID risks. This will be the one of the first such festivals in the world to return since the COVID pandemic started. And that's a look at your morning rush. All right, officials will start administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today at the mega site at Fair Park, but some Catholic bishops are discouraging their flock from getting it if they can even find one of the other vaccines instead. I want to go to Cleo Green, who is live in our newsroom this morning. And Cleo, this is all due to some moral concerns. Yeah, Mark, and this is actually a top talker. A lot of people asked us whether or not the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine was developed with uh, fetal cell lines. So we created a verified report here. And well, the answer is yes. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine uses aborted fetal cell lines from the 70s and the 80s. There's a lot of science to this and we do have a full explanation in that verify report. But this morning we're talking about how the faith communities are responding to this. So yesterday the Catholic Diocese of Fort Worth said they are standing by the National Diocese, which is telling church members to avoid the new vaccine if another is available due to those moral concerns. Their statement says the J and J vaccine was developed, tested and or produced with the help of abortion derived cell lines. Now, while not disputing the church officials contention that an abortion derived cell line is used in production, Johnson and Johnson issued a statement Tuesday stressing that there is no fetal tissue in the vaccine. Once again, we do have a full explanation and a scientific explanation to this in our verify report. You can find that right on the homepage of our website at WFAA.com. And in the meantime, Mark, this is how faith communities are responding to this new vaccine. All right, cool. I appreciate that update, Cleo.